I love that we are celebrating the fine arts just as a collective, you know, it's nice to have everybody come together with a common purpose and helping each other out, you know, culinary providing the food for the dinner theater was a really cool touch and just having this whole atmosphere of celebrating the creativity of all of our students and all of our staff is really cool. So getting ready for tonight took a lot of work in class, obviously. We spent the last two weeks just creating the pieces, making sure that they were refined. These also served as their semester uh, finals so that they could turn in these pieces and then have them available for the display at the same time. So knocking out two birds with one stone with that one, which was really nice. Um, but we spent a lot of time in class just really getting down to the nitty gritty and getting into a very specific techniques and very specific color usage. If you look through, you can see very uh, intentional color usage through all of these, so it was really nice. Yeah, it was a good process. This is potentially going to go into a display. Make sure that you're really putting your best foot forward and showing me everything that you can do. And I saw people that had just been phoning it in all semester really stepped up their game, and a couple of them made it in. So it was nice to see. I'm just having the best time with these students. They're showing me new things every day. They will surprise me every day. <laughs> they're not only showing me creativity in their artistic approach, but they're showing me creativity in their person, which is really nice. I went to the Riverwalk a couple of times and like it brought out so much so much joy in me, you know. Every time I see the river and everything, like I just smile and then I'm just like, you know what, I'm gonna draw this. I call it paradise. <laughs> you know, I got so excited, I even told my boyfriend, I was just like, oh my god, it's gonna get displayed. I want everybody to see it, you know, see my talent, you know, and show the world. I love Miss Clyde. She helps me a lot with everything like you know, I tell her, is this good? She's like, oh my god, so good. And, you know, she inspires me and I love that, you know. I didn't really get that uh, much from my art teachers, you know. And, like, I just, like, I love this type. Love her. She, like, she helped me a lot with art. to murder at the pie auction and I bid on a pie and I was the winner. Although they couldn't read MC Smith, my name, I still won the pie. Carl Chandler made this pie and that's why I bid on it. Because he's my favorite. And I got his pie. And I also outbid Wendy, my sister, so that even made it sweeter. I wouldn't hold my breath on that. I hear he's still not over his breakup with Eve Simone. Dessert weekly? that she dumped him for another man on the bus circuit. Speaking of feeling better, how is Eunice Hammond doing? Is she still in the hospital? Yes, I'm afraid so. That is a horrible thing to say. She always had been jealous of me. You know how it is, pie bacon so cutthroat. <laughs> I know that. Mark, that secretary of yours is a moron. I want her fired. <laughs> Calling this place the wilderness is an insult. We plans everywhere. Well, listen, I did everything I could. Once the contract was signed, it cannot be undone. Not without a hefty cancellation fee, which we couldn't afford to pay. We are almost broke. That is my point, Mark. Make or break year. We need a bank to help keep Mother Mabel on the front page and increase sales. Yes, even as we speak, the smell of freshly baked pies is wafting through the kitchen. Good grief, what is this place? Antiques Roadshow? May I help you? I may be beyond help. I just came from what I think is an airport. I have no idea where I am. This is the senior center. For a moment, I thought it was Jurassic Park. What is this place? <laughs> an antiques auction? I collect antiques. You do? Not live ones. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the auction is part of the International Mother Mabel's High bake off competition. <laughs> Is there a I'll show you. Besides, I'm Team Simon. Simon? Simple Simon? Simon Simon? Yes! Why? We met at the fair. 
The kids were absolutely amazing. It was entertaining. Everybody was engaged, paid attention. They took intermissions just at the right time with a little bit on our pie. It was wonderful. The kids did an awesome job. And then Mr. Sal was always really special. He got a pie in the face. <laughs> for the last three days so we had a lot going on the kids uh, had all new recipes that they were trying out so the kids have made peanut brittle they have made pecan pralines which were actually both my mother's recipes so they made those candies from that and my mom's uh, divinity recipe so we had all those going they made uh, uh, a peppermint bark so they did that that was new chicken salad or nerves on a baguette toast with uh, some uh, green leaf lettuce in the in the in the chicken salad. Okay. These are chicken salad sliders. Would you like them? Sure. Of course, all the charcuterie boards. Uh, the kids got to experiment with some goat cheese. They never had had goat cheese before. We did a fantastic uh, hors d'oeuvre that is a bacon wrapped date with an almond inside. I call that uh, fatal attraction because it's a date with a nut. But the kids did stuffed mushrooms. So a, a lot of a lot of different things. Uh, something called Texas trash, which was another one of my mom's recipes, which is Chex Mix with some chili powder and, and different things on it like that. specialty coffees tonight. We did a, uh, a s'more latte, so it was a chocolate latte with uh, marshmallows and crumbled graham crackers on top. We got the Robert Deluxe on there, which is a, a sweet ground chocolate with Irish cream and vanilla. Of course, we had our pumpkin spice, which you always have to have at the holidays. So we made holiday punch, uh, which is uh, something that came from my wife, I think from her mom, but it's uh, ginger ale with um, Hawaiian punch. A lot of cookies, some recipes we know that were good and some new ones we tried. So we have some kids at the play right now, or some people at the play right now. And we also served a meal at that, so we did a spaghetti spaghetti dinner for their uh, dinner theater. So there's spaghetti being served over there, uh, kids taking care of that. Miss Birchelman was really the one that took care of the spaghetti for us tonight. I think my wife is a part, she had a blonde curly wig on when she came through a while ago. She was playing Eunice, I think she told me, in the uh, Murder at the Pie auction. We have the art, uh, our art kids with some exhibits from that, so parents got to see a lot of different things and really try to expand it out to the community and get, get people up here uh, from different aspects. I know there was people from the BFW here, there were other high, school, high schools here, uh, Cortez family of restaurants, one of their HR people was here, came down tonight. Uh, b, b Smokehouse, their owner was here tonight. Uh, so we had uh, chefs from, from the area, different restaurants that came down, made it special. And the band, basically you hear Christmas music in the background, our band has got a, uh, I don't know what we have, some ensemble out there, I don't know, 10, 12 kids out there, they're doing Christmas music for us in the courtyard, so uh, that's really fantastic also. The kids did a great job. This is the culinary arts department, the coffee shop. I tried all of the stuff on every line. All the charcuterie board, the cheese and these sausages, every snack that was out there, it was great. The peanut butter was so They are really good. Everything is amazing here. I get like three servings of all this stuff. It's so good. We keep going back over there eating everything. It's just delicious. It's really good. <laughs> Fun, but hard but fun. And right here, it is um, peppermint bark 
it's like they melt the chocolate with um, with like candy canes and then they like just crush it up. The perks of being in culinary, you always get to make stuff and be hands on in the kitchen. Sometimes you'll have to do a little cleaning, but that's just what comes with it. Oh, and you get to eat a lot.